Not every adult listens to us. A lot of kids feel like parents don't understand them, stuff like that, but I don't feel that way. I feel my parents, they were my age once, they know what I've been through, so I, mean, if, I don't ever feel like they don't get me, I just feel like they know what's best for me. They've, they're always so supportive of what I want to do, and that I don't want them to give up on their dreams. If they want to do something and make it in life, to continue to go towards it and not give up no matter what. I'd rather learn how to be on my own than have them hold my hand the whole way. The choices you have to make in life that'll affect how you do like some of the smaller things, well not small, but like choosing what college you want to go to or where you want to live when you go to college, whether a dorm or an apartment, the friends you're going to make, who you're going to hang out with, if you're going to stay home and study or go to a party, you know, just what are you going to do after college and you know that's some of the bigger ones, you know, what job are you going to have. Because I only have one year left of high school, and so when I have to go off to college and I'll be by myself, like you want to have parents or friends to you know, push you, motivate you, keep you on track, make sure you're not you know, losing yourself. What uh, path are you going to take in life? Choosing which path I want to go, if I want to go the right path or the other path, which might be the wrong path. A lot of people see me as someone that's always like happy seeming, but I realize that I'm actually kind of negative about a lot of things, and I should really try more to like to see the beauty in little things and not jump to a negative outlook on it. This young girl lost her father in a car accident. She really got, she thought that she was going crazy, but it was just a spirit. And he was trying to connect with her, but I had a friend who did suicide. You struggle with those times. Have you ever? Yes. Things that are hard, hard on you, it shouldn't prevent, shouldn't make you hurt yourself. I'm Rosie Hurst. I'm 13, and I'm from Simi Valley, California. I am Tori Mendoza. I'm 13 years old, and what I like to do is to bake. We are like two different people but then we find like we find out that we can be like really good friends even though we're different. Me and my best friend are like that. We're just we're polar opposites and everything. Our colors, like how we look, our like some of our music tastes, how we dress, we're polar opposites are like our hair is opposite, just everything. I, mean, I think it takes effort from both people because if you're just always giving it to them, they're like, oh, she just talks a lot. I really don't like her. So it would take effort from both people. I think a lot about growing up and leaving home and going to college and everything. And um, it'll be hard to be on my own. And I think about that a lot. It's a big deal. So. I feel like that if I was more sure of like my decisions, if I was more sh sure in what I wanted, then it would be better. <laughs> My name is Bobby Javion Harris. I'm 17. I love playing basketball and football. My big influence in my life is my mom because she always been there for me.
we were living in this place called the Carry Arms in Vegas. Uh, and, you know, they shot a lot there. You know, we, we, we got scared, so we went in my mom's room. And she was a hardworking woman, so, you know, she's sleeping. We run in there, wake her up, you know, you're scared. Just, all uh, just sitting there, you know, you know she, she sits there and she gets us in the, the bed. You know, she had like four kids, so it was pretty hard on her. And, you know, it was kind of scary watching people just sit there and shoot. And my mom would just sit there and tell us stories and stuff, to take our mind off of it. I just want to impress her, you know, let her know that I still love her and that she's still the number one in my life. I didn't really like my dad when I was younger because one reason he he didn't like me, he didn't really say I was his when I was born. I, I really regret for like, you know, not being a good son to him. And, you know, I just want to meet him again, you know, see how he's doing. Right now, I don't really think I'm gonna know my father when I'm older because I don't even know what facility he's in. And I don't even know how to get in touch with him. But hopefully when he gets out, I get a better relationship with him. You know, cause I hear a lot of people talking about their father, you know, like, oh, my father's this and my father's that. Nah, I really can't say anything about my father because I don't really know him that well.